I were now in Mashiko in the Tochigi Prefecture, and I would like to、um, interview Mr. Furuki, who is the owner of the Mashiko Toge Club.、Um, what were you doing at 2 46 p.m. on March 11th, and where were you? I was just right next to where we're standing, right here next to the kiln. And I was working on the house at the time. How was it damaged and how did it take to fix everything? It was my first time feeling this powerful energy in my life, and I didn't think it was an earthquake at first. I thought maybe some kind of an asteroid had landed on America. The stones and bricks around my house started floating, and the kilns started collapsing. The house shook intensely, so I thought everything was just going to collapse. How will all the damage、um, affect your work? I couldn't fire my work for a while, and people who were borrowing the kilns came to help rebuild the kilns. So two of them have been already fixed. We will start fixing the third one from this month, and the last one, which had the most damage, will be fixed hopefully by the end of this year. Will all the recovery take more than a year? Yes, it will probably take a year to fix everything. Okay, this is、um, Mr. George Gune, and he's been living in Mashiko for 36 years, and he's a Mashiko potter, and also he owns a restaurant. And we would like to interview some questions to him. So, how was the Mashiko festival been for you so far? Well, so far. So well, so well. Last two months, past two months, it's uh, uh, physically international、uh, tourists. I don't see as many, but otherwise the activity is for this time of the day is cordial. I would think so. Activity is one. Yeah. And、um, did you suffer any damage in the earthquake? Only the、uh, chimney of my kiln. The house, the windows, and the blueberry farm—it's all okay.、Uh, what about the restaurant? Restaurant is okay.、Uh, surrounding areas, of course, yeah, rooftops. You know, the, we have little damage, but my house, n- no damage. Only interior,、mm. that sort of thing. Glass, glasses, and and、uh, pottery, that sort of thing. Thank you. You, you, you're very much welcome. Thank you. Very pleased to be here with Matsuzaki Ken Sensei, and who is one of the leading potters in Mashiko. How did the earthquake affect you? Physically, two kilns and my house broke, but there are more mental damages which left a big scar on Mashiko. でもそれ以上にあの精神的にもあるでしょうし、あとあのマシコにおいては非常に根の深い傷跡が残ったと思いますね。えっとそしてあの世界からマシコ。What do you think about the financial support from overseas? And what do you think about the international support you're receiving? I am so glad about it, and I can feel the kindness of the supporters. I think it is important to sort out how well we can use that money. Going back to the first question, please specify how the kilns and houses collapsed and what was the damage. I have two nobori gamas, and one of them just broke down completely, and the other one is half broken. The completely broken one has been already replaced by the volunteers, so there is nothing there anymore. The front part, the firebox of the half broken one, will be rebuilt from the start, so it'll take a little more time. スタート壊してもう一回作り直すということをしなきゃならないのでちょっとまたこれも時間かかりますねありがとうございます Hi,、um, this is Yuan Craig and he's been living in Mashiko for 21 years and he's a Mashiko potter We would like to ask him some questions 
Um, so how was the Mashiko Festival been for you so far? It's actually been very good. There's been a lot of support from customers from Tokyo and we weren't expecting to have so many people coming this year but it's been good and the customers have been very supportive. Yeah. Um, so did you suffer any damage in the earthquake? Yes, we lost our kiln and my studio and house and so we've had to move from Mashiko to the neighbouring prefecture of Gunma and we'll be starting again. Hopefully after the Pottery Festival I'll start to build a new studio and hopefully we'll have it up and running by the summer. And what do you see the future of Mashiko to be? I think Mashiko is going to come out of this better and stronger than it was before. There's a lot of, the community has pulled together to support each other and the international pottery community has pulled together to try and support us. Everyone's trying to rebuild the, the wood kilns and there's a lot of support from the community as well. I think this is a chance for Mashiko to re-identify itself, not just as, as the home of Hamada Shoji, but as a new entity which is rising out of this, this disaster. This is Hamada Tomo sensei, uh, grandson of Shoji Hamada, who is the founder of Mashiko. And I would like to ask some questions to him. How did the earthquake affect you? We have four Noborigamas here, and all of them were destroyed. Also, a lot of the pottery works were broken. How did this earthquake affect you mentally? The physical damage is more devastating for us than the emotional damage. We are still in the midst of this disaster. I don't think we have been able to accept this reality yet. What do you think about the financial support from overseas? And what do you think about the international support you're receiving? I am very pleased about the support. It shows the appreciation the international community has for Mashiko Pottery. The earthquake might have shaken the city of Mashiko, but it didn't shake the spirit of the community. It will take some more time to recover from the earthquake, such as rebuilding the kilns and houses, but thanks to the support of individuals in Japan and around the world, I think the reputation of Mashiko will be even stronger. This is Yuri Kano from KKTV.